Good evening, I'm Sarah Sapsanama. Let's begin with the headlines of the hour. Organized group active in trafficking Nepalese with hopes of taking them to the U.S. Government says it is serious towards safety of stranded Nepalese in Brazil. Parliamentarians from ruling and opposition sides exchange verbal volleys. Lawmaker Yogesh Bhattarai calls armed conflict an era of violence. Opposition lawmakers express reservations. Mr. K.P. Sharma Oli's foreign visit to begin from the United Nations General Assembly after Thailand postponed BIMSTEC summit due to internal political developments. And Bangladesh crowned SAF under-20 champions after thumping host Nepal 4-1 in the tournament final. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has said the Nepal government will repatriate 176 stranded Nepalese in Sao Paulo, Brazil, if the airlines company that flew them there don't bring them back themselves. Speaking with Kantipu News, spokesperson for the ministry, Amrit Bahadur Rai said the government was serious towards the safety of the stranded Nepalese who had been trafficked with the aim of taking them to the U.S. So far, their food and accommodation has been looked after by the Brazil government. However, Rai said the Nepal government was ready to coordinate for it, if needed, through the embassy in Brazil. The Brazil is a political asylum. This is the first thing that we have to do. We have to do a lot of things. 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 We have to यदि त्यस्तो भएन भने कि पनि अफ कोर्स अब आफ्नो नागरिक हो नेपाल सरकारले कुनै प्रकारले पनि उहाँहरुलाई फर्काउनलाई त तयारै छ 176 जना हुनुहुन्छ उहाँको खाना बस्न व्यवस्था चाहिँ के छ त कसरी कसरी मिलाइरहनु भएको छ अ हामीलाई त्यहाँ ब्राजिलिया स्थित नेपाली दूतावासले दिएको सूचना अनुसार चाहिँ ब्राजिल सरकारले नै उहाँहरुको अहिले सम्मको चाहिँ टेक केयर खाना बस्नको व्यवस्था त्यहाँ गरिरहनु भएको छ तर कुनै अवस्था आयो भने कि नेपाल सरकारले एकदमै Almost 700 individuals had been held at Sao Paulo, Brazil, as human traffickers were taking them to the U.S. through illegal route. They have been staying at the Brazil airport since five days. Now, in the absence of employment opportunities at home, people seek for employment abroad. However, many Nepali nationals dreaming of working in the U.S. are being deceived by organized groups of human traffickers. Police investigation has shown the involvement of an organized group in deceiving Nepali nationals by showing them the American dream. A total of 176 Nepali nationals are stranded in Brazil. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has shown interest after the news of Nepali nationals stranded at the Sao Paulo airport in Brazil surfaced. Efforts are being made for their rescue through the embassy. However, investigation has not begun towards searching for the group which sent almost 200 Nepali nationals in a single journey. The Nepali embassy in Brazil has said that Nepali nationals were taken to Brazil by human traffickers in the name of taking them to the U.S. The Anti-Human Trafficking Bureau of Nepal Police has said that investigation would be conducted if a complaint was filed against the group taking Nepali nationals to Brazil. This is not the first instance where Nepali nationals leaving with the dream of making it to the U.S. getting stranded in other countries. According to the investigation of the Bureau, those wanting to go to the U.S. through illegal route had to pass through 13 countries. The group with the air route first takes Nepali nationals to Dubai or Thailand, while the one with the road route first takes them to India. They are taken from India to Russia, Spain and Bolivia. The journey from Bolivia heads to Peru, Ecuador and Colombia. They need to walk from Colombia or take a bus to Panama where they need to cross the dangerous Deerian Forest. The journey to reach Mexico from Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras and Guatemala takes around six months. 
Some groups take people from Guatemala to Mexico, while others use Brazil. Human traffickers take them to the border with the U.S. in Mexico. People taking this illegal route pay from 5.5 million rupees to 12 million rupees to the traffickers. Many of those spending months and reaching the U.S. after such an arduous journey are deported to Nepal. According to the data of the Bureau, 199 Nepalese entering the U.S. through Mexico illegally have already been deported. America जाना है खरीदने पंद्रह बीस हजार देश और पार कर जाना पनी कोई ठहर मचे डूंगा में जाना पनी कोई ठहर मचे बॉस में जाना पनी कोई ठहर जंगल में हिरे जाना पनी तो तो हिसाब ले लौट दे पौर दे बिरामी हो दे कती बाटो में जो कती को देह तैयार करी को अवस्था सा कती जो डूंगा में बड़ा बड़ा खासी को अवस्था सा कती पानी खाना बार में मरी को अवस्था सा तो अंतर तो गोता त्यां पूरी जगह पची बन त्यां बन क्या शांति चरा त्यां छिरी जगह पची बन त्यां तो कॉस्टल � the Bureau had arrested foreign individuals, including Hosta Gautam, considered the main agent of Nepal, involved in sending Nepalese to the U.S. through the illegal route. Police investigation has shown that Gautam, who has physical disability, has sent hundreds of people through the illegal channel. Eleven members of the group have been arrested, while 18 are still at large. Secretary at the Ministry of Home Affairs, Eknaran Oryal, has already informed the Parliamentary Committee in presence of the Home Minister about the trafficking from third countries. However, the political leadership is yet to take the matter seriously. The government does not have data on the Nepali nationals who have disappeared along the illegal route to the U.S. and those behind bars abroad. While only a few involved in the organized group have been arrested, the network is yet to be dismantled. While the government must formulate a strategy to ensure the security of the citizens, those wanting to go abroad through illegal routes by spending hundreds of thousands of rupees must be aware themselves as well. It is now time for our segment Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. Public Pulse. But before today's question, let's take a look at the results from yesterday's poll. Yesterday we asked you, how do you think the relation between now Centre Chair Pushpa Kamal Mahal and Prime Minister KP Sharma Oli will turn in the future? 35% voted for option A, they'll come along. 16% for B, no partnership before election. And 49% for C, the Hal frustrated for losing power. And here's today's question, what should be done to control the trend of falling victim to the temptations by human traffickers? Your options are A, take action against the traffickers, B, establish an effective government mechanism, and C, raise awareness. The voting is on, type NEWS, select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. We'll take a short break here, more news coming up. Parliamentarians of ruling CPN UML and opposition CPN Maori Centre exchanged verbal volleys at today's session of the House of Representatives. Speaking during the special hour of the lower house today, CPN UML lawmaker Yogesh Kumar Bhattarai referred to the decade-long armed conflict as decade of violence. This caused lawmakers from Maori Centre to express their reservations. Bhattarai was of the opinion that the state could not lift load sharing as planned in the Nepalese year 2065 itself, some 16 years ago, saying that electricity infrastructures were destroyed during the armed conflict period. Parliamentarians from Maori Centre obstructed the parliament after Bhattarai's speech, after which Speaker Devraj Khimire directed the parliament secretary to define the word violence in the given context and take a decision. However, obstruction continued even after the speaker's directive. Meanwhile, Bhattarai said it would not make a difference if the word violence was removed from the records and added that the use of the word from his party would continue. <laughs> पुलिस चाव की मां हन्नो, आर्मी लाई हन्नो, सर्वसाधन मंचे लाई हन्नो, सामान्य मंचे लाई हृदय करता, आतंकी बनाऊनो, चंदा उठाऊनो, लूटपाट करनो, सब पे हिंसा हो, धन्यवाद। 
Chief Whip of Maui Center, Heath Raj Pandey, expressed reservations on the development and urged the Speaker to ensure the session followed the Parliament's decorum. त्यो न्यापति मा विषय वस्तु राखी सके पची सम्मान्य जीव को निर्देशन चाहिए त्यो अंति मुंजा त्यो निर्देशन पालन नवाये पची यो नियम अनुसार सदन चले को चाहिए ना त्यस कारण ये नियम अनुसार सदन चलाई होस नियम अनुसार चल दिन उन्हें वो मानिए अलाव उन्हें घर बस हो अंति निर्देशन स्वामुखले गरेगो कुड़ after the tense moments between the ruling and opposition sides, the session returned to normalcy. However, lawmaker Bhattarai opposed yesterday's speech by Sipin Mao Center Chair Pushpa Kamal Dahal. He alleged that it was the main opposition itself that had not agreed to the decision by a subcommittee under the Public Accounts Committee to raise industries due amount to NEA. एक कई अरब अठासी करोड़ को बकिया उतालाई, वहाँ ले एक ही चोटी छह अरब में झाड़ दिन बो, तब बाकी सौ अरब मिना गढ़ने आशे को पत्र लिखने बो, विवाद यहाँ बड़ा सुरुवात हो, तेज करने ही जो पुष्पक वाल दाल मन्ने जिले, विपक्षी दल का नेता जिले, प्रधानमंत्री केपियोली जिले इस प्रश्न का उत्सुकन � मान्य पुष्पा कमल दाल दिलाए भन्ना चांसो तो पहले कुन कानून को आधार में तो पहले संग भाई को कुन अधिकार पर गर नेपाल विद्युत प्राधिकरण को स्व अर्प को पके होता छूट दीने निर्णय कर दो यो प्रतिनिधि सवाले तो पहले इस प्रश्न का सोच Earlier, Nepali Congress lawmaker Arjun Narsing Kesi had said it was a tragedy to try and implement a five years statute of limitation on corruption cases. He also raised question on when the government would announce its common minimum program. Prastachar mudda ko had mayat paanch bas rakhni kaam kare ko cha. Yo atyanta durbhagi purna cha. Yo kye ko nimdi liya yye ko. Yo lok tantra ko nimdi. Yo susasan ko nimdi. Yo samajik nyaya ko nimdi. Yo bikas ko nimdi ho. Yo kos ko nimdi liya yye ko. Banda kyebal prastachar bada unumukti di ne. Tela prushan garna ko nimdi liya ne bhao na le. Yo vidyek tatkal firta garo se di yo sarkar. Susasan ko pakshi ma cha bane. Rashtri Sotandra Party lawmaker Chanda Kaki drew the speaker's attention towards quelling conflict between parties. Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli's first foreign visit is to begin from the United Nations General Assembly. With the Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation, BIMSTEC Summit pushed because of internal political affairs, Prime Minister Oli's first official foreign visit is to begin from the UN General Assembly. Premier Oli's aspiration of beginning his foreign visit from neighboring India is unlikely to be fulfilled. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has already extended his invitation for Oli's visit to India through Minister for Foreign Affairs Arzurana. Despite the tradition of beginning foreign visits through neighboring countries after being the Prime Minister, the schedule for the visits of the Prime Ministers of Nepal and India is not certain as of now. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has said that homework is underway for the visits of the two Prime Ministers. Leaders close to Prime Minister Oli have said that despite internal preparations for his foreign visit from India, dates have yet to be concluded. Prime Minister Oli is to leave for the U.S. to attend the UN General Assembly on 20th of September and he is to address the General Assembly on the 26th. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs is making preparation for Oli's parleys with head of states of the SARC countries during the General Assembly. As Nepal is the chair of SARC, the ministry has added that foreign affairs ministerial level talk has been proposed during the UN General Assembly. CPN UML Chair Oli was appointed the Prime Minister with the backing of the alliance, including Nepali Congress, on 14th of July. Now, years and years of campaigns by the government and non-government organizations to raise awareness on health, reduce poverty and eradicate child marriage in Karnali province have yet to yield expected results. In Karnali province, because of lack of awareness and poor economic conditions, the rate of malnutrition among children has remained high. 
Urmila Budathoki of Salyan was married away at the young age of 17 to a family that depends on daily wage works to make a living. She had her first child at the age of 18, but just a day after the birth, the child caught pneumonia and eventually malnutrition. Surkhet's Renuka Punmagar, who was also married away at the age of 17, had her first child at 18. Her premature child also suffers from malnutrition. <laughs> Saraswati Pandey, who was married before she turned 20, also had a child who suffered from tuberculosis from a very young age along with malnutrition. Chabi Lal Bika of At Biskot Municipality of Rukum West also had a child who was malnourished before turning six months. He says his wife had the child before she was 19. <laughs> Health workers who have worked on malnourished children for many years say the trend of child marriage and having babies at a very young age had resulted in malnourishment in their children. Meanwhile, the province government claims it has been running campaigns to raise awareness on malnutrition and child marriage. Thirty-five percent of women in Karnali province get married between the age of 15 to 17, 38 percent between the age of 18 to 20. Based on the population census of 2022, 36 percent of children below the age of five in Nepal are malnourished. In our public voice segment, today we've asked parents and guardians in several provinces what type of food do they give to their children. Let's take a look at what they had to say. Junk food Gorkone <laughs> Sports news. Bangladesh have won the South Under-20 Championship after defeating hosts Nepal 4-1 in the tournament final. In the final played at the Enfa Complex in Sadubatu, Bangladesh found themselves ahead in the first half additional time as Mirajul Islam converted a free kick after he was fouled just outside of the D box. Mirajul doubled the lead for Bangladesh as he marked his brace in the 55th minute. Hosts Nepal then found themselves trailing by three goals in the 70th minute as Mirajul set up Rabi Hossein Rahul. 
Nepal then reduced the deficit as Samir Tamang scored a consolation for the hosts in the 81st minute. However, Bangladesh went on to score one more in the fag end of the additional time and sealed the 4-1 victory to lift the SAF under-20 tournament for the first time. That is all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Good night.